What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Coy, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the trailer to The Meg 2 Dose. Welcome back to The Meg. So, uh, let's let's check this out together, shall we? If you guys haven't done so already, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please. Vote this up, let YouTube know. You're enjoying what you're watching, and let us know in the comments, did you enjoy The Meg Part 1? Uno. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. Oh. Ah! Oh. oh no. Oh no. They're gonna be a bigger oh I thought it was I was be... fully expecting another fish. Yeah. I mean not a fish. I was thinking fish because of Star Wars. Liam Neeson's voice in my head going, There's always a bigger fish. Oh um, and there wasn't a bigger fish, it was just another <laughs> equally sized thing. Thing, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, the dinosaurs. Oh yeah. What the? Give me more T-Rex. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. I want to see Jason Statham punch the T-Rex in the face. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no, it made the little T-Rex, it made the T-Rex look tiny. Jonas, we need your help. To punch a T-Rex. activity 25,000 feet deep in the trench. It's an ancient ecosystem untouched by man. Whatever is down there is trying to make its way to the surface. Okay. Oh. Okay. This Pacific is a bad Rim. Idea. Just a little bit. We're setting up Jason Statham <laughs> punching the shark in the face. Oh no! Behind! Ah! Oh, goodbye. Or Chomp. Uh, oh no. Ay ya. What? Lady. Jonas, we've got company. That's the biggest Meg I've ever seen. Biggest Meg anyone's ever seen. Oh, Hold on. Shit. The Meg is already big. <laughs> it's just a I know. bigger Meg. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ay ya. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. This is silly. Uh, oh no. Oh, he literally kicked the shark. Okay, to be fair though, that is a reference to Jaws. Okay, I have not seen Jaws. Yeah, that's a reference. To, I, I think that's a reference to Jaws. You don't want to know. Oh, geez. lordy, lordy, lord. Oh, my God. That thing's going quick. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, my lord. That's a callback <laughs> to the first movie as well, right? I mean, oh, stop that. This, stop that. Almost... It's got a chompy on you. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my. It almost feels like this is more of a... A comedy? Yeah, more of a comedy. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. But, oh, what? <laughs> if only he was dismantling a bomb. <laughs> the trench. <laughs> the thing where it's like going with Jason Statham as he's like flipping, he's doing a corkscrew. Yeah. That's straight from Transporter 2. Oh. That's why I was like, if only he was dismantling a bomb. Because he had a bomb on the bottom of his car in Transporter 2, and he did some like car gymnastics thing to get the bomb off of this off of his car using a crane. It was the what? wildest, dumbest thing ever. But <laughs> for me, it's like a callback to that, like, you know, the earlier Jason Statham days. I feel but, like this probably has a lot of callbacks that I'm not really, like, recognizing. Mm. Definitely, like, the scene with all the people in the water. Is that kind of, like, Jawsy, but then also, like... Yeah, in the Meg, the first one, they yes. did that as well, and yes. so they're they're bringing it back, and and I feel like this time round they realize like, oh, it's very tongue in cheek now, you know what I it's mean? It's very self aware. It's self aware. It's like yeah. this is the movie. We're here for some silliness, right? Yeah, so, it's, it's it's Meg, lean in. Yeah, lean in hard. Yeah. Meg two, yeah. the lean in. Yeah. Forget a trench. Well, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like it's taking itself seriously. I, there do seem to be some moments that are intended to cause fear, frighteningness, oh, you know? Yeah, I mean... A little bit. It's... Like, this was a little bit of a shock. I wasn't expecting that, right? So you are going to have moments like that, but it's also just kind of having fun at the same time. And that actually might make this movie more my speed. The fact that it is kind of a horror comedy thing where 
it's this action adventure with Jason Statham <laughs> doing, you know, gymnastics with a jet ski. <laughs> Hell yeah, why not? You doing know? Jason Statham things. Yeah. I mean, you know, give the man a career still. Yeah. And I'm I'm excited. Yeah, it's silly and fun, and it's a bigger Meg. Yeah, I mean, I, I, kind of monster movies are not like my favorite genre, but yeah. I can certainly get behind something like this where it's like, oh, we're just having fun with it yeah. all. The, ol- the only the only thing that I would hold against the movie, which is odd for me to say, I guess, is the aspect ratio. It's a two three five aspect ratio, but there was a video essay I saw some time back that illustrated that a 235 aspect ratio doesn't actually work as well for films like this when you're trying to create like sheer scale and size and scope because like you're looking at it through a more narrow thing which is like more cinematic but like Jurassic Park was closer to a 16-9 I think it's a 185 aspect ratio which when you're projecting it on a big screen it's like it looks great and you know I I'm wondering if there's anything did it say IMAX at the end at all I can't remember like, this is the kind no. of film that I would watch in IMAX, as goofy as it is. Like, this is like a, a fun romp. Well, that- it's, it's got some really creative shots as well. Like, I like that one where it's you're kind of looking at the shark's mouth and uh-huh. then it just kind of chomps. Yeah. Like, I think they're really having fun with it. And, mm-hmm. like, just all of the deaths are verging on absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so what is this right here? It's an octopus? It's an o- yeah. yeah. It's a giant octopus. We just, like, let's bring out all the giant creatures. Why not? You yeah. Know? I feel like this could be more fun than Kong. I feel like this is Sharknado on steroids. Another movie well, that I've never watched. I've never seen Sharknado. No, but, like, just kind of the ridiculousness of it all. Mm-hmm. You know, like, Sharknado is sharks, right? I mean, it's in the name. It's I've just, never seen the okay, film. It, but this is... The Meg. So it's like a ridiculous, like super shock. Yeah. It, do, it doesn't say IMAX. It says 3D. So Oh, oh my God. That could be quite fun too. Sure. Imagine you take some stuff, go in there, and then you're like, holy, it's a freaking Take some giant stuff. Like shark. popcorn in your pocket. Yeah. Popcorn in your pocket, some M&Ms, and a, a beverage. Mm. And a girlfriend named MJ. Huh? You're too innocent for that one, I guess. Oh, so, I thought you were. Tw- I thought that was like a Spider-Man reference. No, it was a reference to what you said a moment ago. Oh, I was okay. just trying to like yes and you. You were trying you. to yes and, and then I yeah. completely dropped the ball. That's okay. As I do. It happens sometimes. You know. But uh, I, I did enjoy this trailer, like legitimately. I think that this <laughs> could be fun. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, irritating after a while. That's the thing with movies like this is sometimes it just gets on my nerves after a minute. Uh, but the fact that they're like aware... And it's kind of like just, you know, let's just have a blast. It's a yeah. party. My, you know, my approach to this is going to be completely different. And so I might actually be tons of fun going with a little bit of Hennessy in your system. <laughs> and it, you'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Not that we're advocating for it. Mm. It's just, you know, it's a choice. Sure. You might want to take when watching this film. Yeah. I feel like this is a great first date film. Like this should come out on Valentine's Day. The timing of this is weird. August 4th. No, I think this is actually very good because think about it. August is very hot, right? Where would you want to be? Maybe the beach. But after watching this film, you probably don't want to go to the beach. But you could be in an air conditioned theater. I don't really know where I was going with that. That's fine. You no, know. That, no that, that's fine logic. I just think that this is a great film to take someone on a date to. So, uh, like, it's one of those things where if you guys aren't laughing, to, you'd know right away if she's the one. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> if you're not laughing at the same things, you, you know, it's not yeah, going to work. Yeah, it's so, incompatible. Exactly. So, yeah. you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Achara Cook. Peace out.